Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to Age of Fear the Undead. Now, let's continue, shall we? I will have included in this, um, like, the voiceover stuff to see which one you prefer. Please leave a comment in the comment section if you prefer me doing the annotation of the dialogue or if you'd prefer the in-game dialogue. Right, here we go. With this, we finished our first fight. We've got a bit of money. We can hire a couple more people. Got a good amount of experience. I will just quickly edit Defuax's name because I have spelt it wrong. I apologise. He always catches me up on that, that I always spell his, his name wrong in games. Um, let's see, let's have... Uh, do we want to have another bowman? Mm, probably, bow getting bowman levelled quickly is probably a good thing. So let's recruit another bowman. Like, do we, can, can we afford any items? Let's see. Ugh, great sword. We can equip common armor, which gives us plus one defense. That's nice. Equip a magic pendant. While wearing holy pendant, you receive plus one defense until um, unit temporary gains holy strike. What does that do? Unit's blessed weapon can easily destroy all evil and unnatural beings. Unit receives plus to attack versus undead and demons, so we're more likely to hit with it on. That's nice. We've got that equipped. We can sell this gold bar for loot, so we get a bit more money. Quality sword. So there's no sword. I'm going to grab this quality great sword because I want to have it up to my attack, and we have no shields available. So we have that. You've got 773 gold. I'm going to grab another footman now that I have spare coinage. We can't take him into a battle yet, but we'll have some money lying around. That should be good. So who should we name these ones at? Jarrett? No, I'm sorry, Jarrett. Your name is going to be... Let's check the list. Mr. John Locke, because he has served me well in many, many a campaign, and you so become known as Liffy. Liffy rises again. If you want to have a character's name added to this, leave it in the comment section if you're fancying. I do this with thing I do this with my let's plays. If you want to have a character name or just want a name added, as long as it's not rude or offensive, please leave it in the comment section. I so add it to the list and they will appear in time. Rightio. That should be everything. I can't afford any potions, can I? Nope. How's my XP looking? 107. Can I buy anything yet? Nice. I should be able to buy that. Requires regular. Ah, uh, this is the thing with this game. Unless you get like l regular rank, you can't unlock stuff. So yeah, we're gonna have to save up for regular rank. There we go. Let's continue. Days passed, and many messengers came and went from the castle. Edward simply had to bide his time outside, growing more restless each passing day. However. His boredom soon ended, as adventure never seemed to stray too far from him. An uneasy-looking farmer introduced himself to Edward. Edward didn't recognize the man, who introduced himself as one of Edward's father's peasants. After a moment of awkward silence, Edward decided to speak. What brings you here, my friend? Wolves, me lord. They're raiding your father's fields. We hear them at night. And several of my, I mean, your father's sheep, have disappeared. And the local militia has been called away as the king begins mustering his troops, I assume. Are there no men in your village who could help? There are only a few, me lord, and none are trained warriors able to help. Edward's father's fields were not far away, 
His party could go and be back in three days. He thought to himself, the kingdom will need at least a week more before our army is fully prepared to depart. There won't be anything else I need to do until then. I haven't seen Tybalt recently. He must be extremely busy helping the king to prepare. I can solve this wolf problem without having to bother him. Edward addressed the man. I can handle it. Just lead me to your fields. Do you have a horse? Yes, me lord. Let us depart immediately then. Within moments, Edward, his men, and the peasant were headed toward Yanistown. The peasant had been right, as there were wolf tracks all over the fields. The peasant's shack was very small, so Edward and his men set up camp around it. Just after midnight, the sentry called the alarm having spotted gray shapes among the trees. In moments, the pack was upon them, led by a large gray wolf. Strange, Edward thought to himself. They fear neither men nor fire. He alerted his men. Prepare your weapons. These beasts shall learn that the kingdom's soldiers are not their dinner. That isn't unusual, to be honest, fact, folks. Um, I know during the French-Prussian War at the end of the 19th century, um, when the Prussians were besieging Paris, a large group of wolves got into into Paris and were like eating people and attacking people in the streets. The same also happened during the Second World War when a lot of the weapons were um, requisitioned to go to go fight. Um, the Nazis, uh, you had large groups of wolves would like be roaming the more wild areas of the of Russia, like attacking whole villages and eating people. It got really, it got so bad they actually had to send people, trained snipers, to go and kill them. I mean, wolves. As soon as wolves find weakness, they exploit it. And humans, to be honest, are not that high up in the food pecking order naturally without equipment. Wog. The wog howls. Lucifer panics. Easy boy, I will not let you be eaten. Lucifer's silent. That's out of the question, Lucifer. These peasants are counting us. Stay still. Right, okay. So let's check out the map. Um, there has been an update, I shall add. The developers have added destructible terrain, as you can see here, which is really cool. So what we've got, we've got... Ooh, a wog. A wolf. Is there any way for them to get in? So they have to come through this way. Okay. You have my sword. Work this. Glorious. Set him up here. At a distance. Set Aim the on. archers up here. And we still wait. There's the sort cock keys. Oh yes, let's toggle our characters' names on. Because that's always nice. There we go. Can he hit anybody still? No, no. He's going to be in range for this turn, though. That wolf isn't. So let's Surely. pull the archer back. I'd have liked. I still would have liked the ability to turn the characters around, but uh, can it be helped? So let's end turn. The wog is probably going to charge the sword. No, he's going right after Edward. Uh oh. Reinforcements. Right, quickly we must On end it. the wolf threat. Here's my message. He misses. Taste my dagger. War we must coming. kill the leader. Without the alpha, the wolves will panic. The warg roars. Never before I've seen such a wolf. It will make the perfect fur behind my fireplace. Edward really isn't a paladin. This guy is not count cut out to be a paladin. So we've got a couple more wolves. Ooh, Edward took a nasty hit. Cornered rat spike too, huh? Hero has been wounded. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him well. Honored. Quickly arches. Here's my message. And you'll get Excellent. back there to cover the gaps. 
The thing is, the AI is relatively smart. The AI is actually really good in this game, I won't lie. And it does exploit gaps in your defense very quickly, especially if you're... See, look, it's going to try and flank. Especially if you're fighting more devious opponents. So it's going to be able to reach... Fight for the king. I'll put him here. That should block his, his reach off from the archer. The archers have no range yet, so I'm going to hold still. What's he going to go? He's going to go for Edward. Ooh, Edward, that's not good. Ooh, dear. Okay. Archers, focus on that wolf. Here's my message. They don't know this. We killed that one. Edward's looking, looking in a bad state. He's broken and he's fleeing. Rush Edward him chased the wolf down. And we crush him under our hoofs. Right, we won the fight. Edward's a bit hurt, but it's okay. Let's look around for some treasure chests. In my experience, these crates and stuff don't have anything Arnold. in them. Want some more? Taste my dagger. Oh, oh no! The Fuax died! I didn't realise that actually did damage. Ooh, uh, okay, that's bad. That's really bad. I didn't realise that. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, the Fuax. Um. Oh dear. The last wolf fell, blood from several slashes staining its grey coat. Edward stepped close and slashed its throat, thus ending its misery. The party was weary and wounded, but victorious. The stubborn wolves were all dead. The peasant emerged in the wake of the battle to thank Edward. Have some fresh milk and bread. I know it is not much. But it is all that my family has to offer you courageous warriors. Thank you, kindly. We are honored to share your fresh provisions. The men ate all the proffered food and drink, then sat resting. As the party began to clean up and make ready to depart, the farmer came to Edward with a young man. Be Lord, though I have no gold to reward you for your aid, I offer my youngest son to your service. Though he is young, he is a quick learner, and very loyal. He should be enlisted in the militia, not to my service. But sir, you care about your men. If he's inscripted into the militia, his life will just be thrown away. But I may see him again one day if you take him into your service. Edward paused as he sized up the young man. After a moment, he decided. Let it be so, then. I will train him, but I cannot promise you that he will one day return. The farmer nodded his thanks and quickly walked away from his son. Edward thought he saw the man shiver, as though silently weeping, as he returned to his small shack. Edward's band Jacob made it back the party. from the peasant's home just in time to join the king's war party. It had taken a few days to gather and assemble all of the kingdom's troops. Even though the king's army was well disciplined, the preparations to march to Grey Rock Citadel still took several days. The sheer size of the army made the logistics time-consuming. Edward, like the rest of the young nobles, was assigned to the vanguard. He was ordered to gather his team and join the scouting party on the main road. The king offered some funds to the young nobleman so that he could pay his party and hire mercenaries. Edward decided that it was a good time to enlist more soldiers before departing. Interesting fact, in the medieval period there's a formation which is basically a knight and like his men at arms which is called a lance. And um, if you were a, medi uh, a mercenary knight or an independent knight with this group you were basically known as a free lance, like a free group of troops. Which is where the term free lancer comes from which is really interesting. One of your units can be evolved. Evolved units indicated by the book icon at the top left of the corner. To evolve unit, please select the unit and click the evolve button below. Evolving is only possible on the recruitment screen. The, the unit must be have gained enough experience points and advanced class. An advanced class of the unit type must first be discovered. I am sorry about the Fuax. 
we'll have to re recruit another Defuax. Recruited a second Defuax. He's leveled up, so what can Jacob be turned into? Uh, we can't, we haven't unlocked Royal Guard. We can make him a reg regular, which improves the stat. I like intelligence because it means they get more experience points, and basically, in the long game, it's really useful. So, let's grab that. Experience points early on is really nice. Oh, he needs more experience still. Oh, he still has some experience left over, so we can make him a regu regular. Stealing is a good ability to have as well, but it comes with a risk. No, oh, he still has some experience points, okay. Um, actually, we can actually get him improved armor and improved weapons, which is nice. Stanley, you're going to become... I do dislike that noise. Uh, stop it. Defu Axe. Right. Let's put it. The second. Defu Axe the second. Son of Defu Axe the first. Sorry, Defu Axe. You died bravely. Well, in all honesty, you probably like slipped and like you were attacking a wooden stake, so. You probably like slipped and fell on the stake, or slipped and hit your head, or slipped and fell on your own sword, or not the most dignified end. I'm not going to lie, my to my fellow knight, he probably did not have the best ending. Right, let's see what we can have. That's what he's got equipped. He could have a mace, which is a rare weapon. Primitive mace, disease carrying, plus one attack. A shield. Ooh, rings. Here we go. What's this do? Increases movement by 30%. That's nice. Nothing miscellaneous. So we can get a ring, which is most of my funds. We could get a weapon, which is plus one attack and has disease carrier. Plus it would allow me to grab a shield. And unit gains parry. That's going to be most of my funds. Or I can have a bit more movement. Hmm. Let's grab thing of movement. So that increases my speed by a lot. By by thirty percent. And we all grab a second answer and hold him in reserve. Because he'll still get XP, even if he's not in the battle, he'll still get XP for being out of it. So that's everything. I don't think we have any items we can give people. No, we haven't. So let's do that. Edward didn't expect any danger on the main roads, especially since nearly every able-bodied warrior was now in the king's army. Still, he erred on the side of caution and wore full armor on the march. As they traveled down the King's Road, they passed some peasants who regarded the party curiously. Edward wondered if the citizens knew of their peril, or thought this was some routine army exercise. Edward's men were assigned skirmishing positions well ahead of the main army. Greenskins weren't generally stealthy, so he did not fear an ambush. However, as he neared the forest's edge, he felt a momentary sense of danger and soon realized that it was too quiet. There was no sound from the birds or other wildlife. However, when a few orcs appeared in the nearby copse of trees at the edge of the forest, Edward knew he had wandered into a trap. He knew he had only one option. He called to his men. Warm up and advance! To be honest, um, riding in full armor is actually it was something that they did do, I mean, but you've got to remember that there was a form of punishment in, in medieval times where you would basically be ordered to wear armour and make your horse trot, which would be massively uncomfortable. Really, really uncomfortable. You've got to remember that even if even if armour is, like, tailored to suit your body, it's still really uncomfortable to be in. Um, for, for long periods of time, it was like, for example, 
on military campaigns, knights tended to only sleep in bits of their armour, like their breastplate. You've got to remember that getting in and out of armour is time consuming, especially if you're looking at a full plate. So, yeah, I mean, uh, it depends. I mean, if, if, if it was a, like a gentle walk in full armour, it wouldn't, like, on a horseback, it might not be that, that bad. It wouldn't be too bad. If you had to, like, trot, it would be very uncomfortable. Um, also, it would tire out your horse quite a lot. Um, yeah, um, the peasants wouldn't be thinking it was like an army exercise or something. You've got to remember that in the medieval period, if the king raises an army, it's normally for a purpose because it costs a lot of money. Because um, obviously you're having to bring in all your levy levies, which normally would be working the fields. You're going to have to basically summon your retainers and their men at arms. So it's like a proper undertaking. Like a lot of a lot of preparation goes into raising an army. Like during the Hundred Years' War in between France and England, like for example, all the night all the retainers were supposed to bring a set amount of resources, like arrows, which had to be made, and like supplies and equipment. It was a massive undertaking. Navon. Well, well, if it isn't the mighty Edward the Orc Slayer, a night bandit? I can't say I'm. I'm it's, a, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Sir Navon. That's understandable. How many ogres did you slay, boy? One so far, but it, but it was a really huge one. Well done. Unfortunately, now that you've seen me, I have to kill you. That's, understand, that's under, understandable, too, sir. Right, so let's look at our situation. They've got an orc. Orcs belong to a fierce race of warriors, possess tougher skin and greater physical strength than humans. Their bloodthirsty tribes have long history of slaughtering arm human armies. Goblin archer, and who's this? They're loyal. Uh, he's Sanav, and he's got quality armor, quality sword. Ooh, okay. Enhanced armor as well. Jousting, lightning vulnerability. He's regular. Yeah, he's going to be tough. Plus, if this is an ambush, there may be other people. So, what's their range? Plus, he's got jousting, yes, so I don't monkey. want. Welcome. I don't want to. I have, have my archers exposed. Surely. So we'll put the archers up here, Excellent. and we'll get the men at arms. We'll get the named as well. There's Dufuac, Second, Liffy, and Jacob. Jacob, Glorious. you can hold down the back. Let's see what happens. Yeah, he's moving up in tandem, being covered by the archer. Right. Jacob, Ex you're going to go back here and cover the rear. Welcome. Liffy, you're going to go here and cover the archers. Excellent. The Fuax the second, you're going to go here. At a the distance. archers will slightly move I up. Have plenty of arrows. He's gone just this turn, which is going to be a pain. Ooh, he's going right for me, and they've got reinforcements that I was worried about. Okay. Jacob, service, my first time holding a sword. Point, pointy end towards the enemy, right? Ooh, now I've got it. Okay, we need to get him. We need to get the archers. Or oh, no. we'll <sighs> kill off... Let's try and break their morale, because their morale will reduce if we kill as many try of them me. as possible. War is coming. So never. Ugh. It seems Edward's boy knows how to fight. I am trying my best, sir. So Nevin, then I must make your end quick as possible, boy. So I would prefer if you could just stop calling me boy. I think I can grant that request. Right. They won't notice. Smack him up. They're away. Liffy, you're gonna have to. Oh, There's no point. There's no point trying to attack him. Fight for the king. Let's try flanking this guy, Jacob. Excellent. You're gonna have to try and hold these guys back. There's a netter, two melee goblins, and an orc warrior. Ooh. And they're coming in strength. Right, let's Want try and shoot more? the orc. If 
we can just get Fire. the orc. <coughs> right, his melee is... To victory! He blocks. He's going to be here next turn. The Fuax. If I try and get him, he's going to get absolutely caned health-wise. But his movement is so far... Uh, let's try and get Fight around the, the side. Team. Edward is low health, this is not good. Right, archers. 90% chance you Fire. missed. <laughs> right. For the kingdom. Russiandom. Oh, I might die, to be honest. Okay, um. Get to him glory. in the back. This could end really badly. For the kingdom. <coughs> right, Jacob, hold them off. <coughs> ah, Jacob's hurt, oh. and I'm dead. Battle has been lost. Just some scenarios, lost battle is an, ex is an expected result, and may unlock new heroes, items, and alternative game flow. Uh, do you want to leave the battle? Um. Yes. Edward, Edward fell numb, numb throughout his whole body. His whole body. He Sorry. felt no pain, though his wounds were many. His mind wanted to continue fighting, but his body felt nothing. He could do nothing more. He slowly fell into the dark night of eternal sleep, and after but a moment, he knew nothing more. Okay, so we're back at the title screen. Let's try that again, shall we? Open the autosave file. Wolf Trouble. Bandits on the road. Okay. So it should be this one, correct? Yeah, it is. Okay. We had a good formation. It's just, just unfortunate. Our archers in a bad. Ooh, that's a bad, bad starting location for the archers. Awaiting okay. command. Aiming. Excellent. Splendid. At a distance. Glorious. You can form up behind the back and guard them from ambushes. Which way is he going? Okay. Splendid. You gotta pull back there. The knight. Where's his cover range? Saddle my horse. Get there. Can he get anyone? Maybe. Come so on. we might want to move. Glorious. Again? I thought I was out of range. Uh, okay. Right. On it. We missed. I was hoping to get lucky. Want some more. <laughs> to victory. He's hurt. To glory! That arc's going to charge us this turn. He won't notice. Let's give him a whack. Got to take him a turn to get here. And turn. Oh, we lost the bloke. That's a shame. He's got hurt. Ugh, this is a nasty scenario. On it. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> For the kingdom. Russian them. Oh, I cannot land a hit. 
very clever. <sighs> Kill off that guy. They're gonna try and move up to support. Try me. Kill him. Fire. Shoot him. <coughs> Taste my <coughs> dagger. Cut him wide open. Very clever. War is coming. Oh, I just cannot hit him. Oh. Again. Uh. Edward felt not. Hmm. Well, that was unexpected. We'll have to try slightly better next time. Maybe I'll have to get the charge off on the night. That'd probably help. <sighs> well, this, we will not be deterred, folks. We shall press on. Until next time, this has been Age of Fear. It's a really good game, really challenging as you can see. If you have liked, please press the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the subscription button. You can follow me on Twitter or on Steam. And we shall be back on Saturday with another episode of this as we slay that very annoying night. I shall see you all next time. Goodbye.